Sprout Social Tutorial How to Use Sprout Social Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Sprout Social. Sprout Social is a social management tool that can help you in ensuring that you're able to provide quality responses and manage your socials easily. It's one of the best platforms out there and has amazing quality features, which can be utilized for different functions such as engagement, analytics, publishing, and more. So let's get started. To get started, simply click on try for free and then enter your email address. You can click on try 30 days for free. You're going to fill in this information. Once you fill in this information about your name and email address, you're going to be led to the next section which is your onboarding. Over here, you have to connect at least one profile. So I am going to be linking my Instagram profile and I have already logged on to Facebook and Instagram on this browser. The reason why I did that is to make this connection really seamless and easy. So you guys can see it's currently linking my profiles and has detected my Instagram profile and I didn't have to log into it again. So you guys can see this is my Instagram profile and after that I will click on connect. Once I click on connect, this will connect my Instagram profile to Sprout Social. Now, once you have connected a minimum of one profile, you have four slots available on the basic version, which I'm going to skip because we're only going to be using Instagram. After that, you're going to add your organization's name and then your organization's website. Then you're going to add what describes you. So let's say I am a director. Then you're going to add what kind of, I'll just change this. And after that, you're going to add what kind of work do you do? So let's say that I'm working on social media for our brand and we have our organization size. So it's five, one to 10. Then if you are an agency or not. So how do you know if you're an agency? An agency is a social is usually a company that is managing social media for other businesses. Whereas if you're doing your own social media marketing or management in house, then you are not an agency. After that, just click on next, and you're going to select your basic interests and click on finish. Once you do that, you will be led to your Sprout Social dashboard. Now over here on the left, you will have your business name and a simple control panel to access all of your tools. This includes your dashboard, smart inbox, cases, feeds, publishing, listening, reports, people, and reviews. And on the top right, you have your post composition features, including notifications, team convos, profile connections, and other features. On the bottom right, you have a resource panel and shortcuts. And on the bottom left, you have your profile for your account, so your actual profile. Now let's get started with Sprout Social. Now on Sprout Social, it's really easy to categorize everything. To do that, you can just go into your groups on the top left by clicking on this folder icon and click on add new group. You can link specific social media uh, profiles to specific groups. Let's say I have a Gloom and Girly Instagram and Facebook. I can connect that together in one group. That is for my Spencer brand. And let's say I have another brand for maybe men's clothing. So I can build a separate profile for that and build a separate group for that, even if all of them are on the same email address. And after that, you can go into your dashboard to get a overview or a bird's eye view. Then in your smart inbox, you will actually see all of your messages, including private, completed, saved, and reply approvals. You will see that this makes it really easy for you to see different sources. So you can select the specific channel that you want to uh, take your messages from. You have your message type. So if you want to see ad comments, mentions, direct messages, and you can filter those out. You can also filter them out by cases as well as language. After that, you can even click on create new and build a specific source and a specific type of message view that you want to view. Maybe you want to only view Instagram DMs. Let's say you only want to view Instagram DMs that are in English. So this will display all of those over here. After that, you have a section called cases and you might say, hey, why do I need cases on Instagram? Well, 
if you are a business, you definitely will have ticketing systems and cases are a default or a alternative of setting up a separate ticketing system. Cases allow you to manage tickets, hold cases, close cases, and manage your business, any type of query that you're getting on your socials, any type of issues that people are complaining about on your socials. You can deal from it over here. Now, after that, we also have our feeds. So this will display uh, what is happening with the people that you are following. You can follow certain hashtags as well as X feeds. Now, after that, we also have our publishing where we can queue up different posts. And we are going to create these in a moment from the top right panel. This includes a content calendar that you can build. You also have a Sprout queue, which allows you to see what content is going up next, not in the form of a calendar, but just a simple queue of when is, you know, what is going to be the next piece of content, whether it's in the next month or next year. Then you can save in some drafts over here so you can create some posts and publish them later. You also have Sprout link in bios. So instead of having to sign up to Linktree or OneLink, other, you know, link in bio platforms, you can create your link in bio with Sprout link. This allows you to link all of your items, all of your social medias, your Amazon storefront, your Amazon affiliates, everything in one link that you can paste in the bio of your Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and other media platforms. After that, you have find content, failed posts, as well as deleted posts, and you can also see your post performance report. Below that, you have a listening section, and you can see social listening, which is basically a simple way for you to see what type of content is resonating with your audience, what type of uh, engagement are your competitors getting, what are your competitors doing right, what is going to be more beneficial, where you can create different conversations, you can create different topics, and you can become a part of the social engagement. Now, after that, we have a really basic reporting tool, which is really insightful. There are a lot of features. It's packed with all different kinds of reports that you can generate, including strategy, competitive, and content performance reports. After that, you have a people section where you can add multiple different people. And you will see different sources. So I'm viewing all of the followers of this particular profile. We can also view with different filters if we want to view other types of followers or engagement uh, metrics. Now to start composing posts, all we have to do is click on compose on the top right. Once you click on compose on the top right, you can type in your post and you can add a story with a photo or you can add an Instagram post. On Instagram, it's mandatory to add a photo or a picture, but on other platforms, it's not, so you can just add text posts as well. Now, make sure that you are scheduling these posts as well. At the bottom, you have the option to schedule these on a specific date and time. You can also connect this to your Facebook ad or Instagram ad manager if you want to promote this post as well. You also can invite collaborators if this is a collaborative post. Now, on the right, you will have notifications as well as team convos where you can chat up with your team to ensure cohesiveness throughout your team. And now later on, if you want to change any of your settings, you can go into the bottom left, go into settings, and this includes your personal settings as well as integrations that you have done. So all of your social accounts, you can integrate them over here. You can do link sharing and other types of setting alternatives are available. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to start up with Sprout Social. Now, Sprout Social is a costly tool, I will tell you that. It starts at $249 per seat per month on their monthly billing, but you can save upwards of 25% with their annual billing starting at only $199 per seat per month. But the benefits of using Sprout Social really do outweigh the price because it is such a powerful and indicative tool of your social performance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.